Hi everyone, welcome to the visual guide for Eden's Gate Sepulcher, also known as E4N. This is the last new 8-man raid made available by patch 5.01 in Final Fantasy XIV Shadowbringers. This new titan form is quite hunky, and I must admit I have a bit of a geo crush on him. If you find yourself getting buried in mechanics and crumbling under the weight of your raid, please remember it's not always your fault. My name is Mistech and I'll be your raid guide. You'll notice that the platform is divided into a grid pattern. These segments of the platform will help you predict and dodge incoming mechanics with a bit more accuracy throughout the encounter, so keep that in mind. We begin with Voice of the Land, a heavy hitting raid wide AoE blast. Healers beware. Anytime the boss casts Evil Earth, one segment of the platform will light up and eventually explode. This explosion will affect the next row of adjacent segments in a sequence until all segments have exploded. To avoid this, players can wait on the edge of a segment, and once the explosion happens next to them, they'll quickly move into that segment to avoid the next one. Weight of the land will target specific segments of the platform. Players will need to move out of these areas to avoid damage. Stone Crusher is a heavy hitting tank buster on the primary target that also applies a physical vulnerability up debuff. Tanks can swap up here to minimize damage. Don't forget to cool down the initial hit of this attack as well. Crumbling down will bring down two proximity based damage markers on the platform. Players will need to move to either the middle of the north or south edges to minimize damage. Two massive boulders will then crash down on the platform. One of these boulders will immediately light up, indicating that it will eventually crumble under its own weight and disappear. The other remaining boulder will be used by the raid to hide from Titan's incoming seismic wave attack. As soon as the cast begins, make sure you run behind that boulder to avoid high damage and debuffs. Next, Geo Crush will have Titan jumping to a random area of the platform, knocking back all players from his landing spot. Use knockback immunities or make your way to the landing spot and position in such a way to avoid getting knocked off the platform. Once he lands, Titan can reform his arms and cast Massive Landslide. All players must immediately move to the segments directly in front of him. Failing to do so will knock you off the platform and you will die. Immediately after this hit, all players will need to move out from in front of him to avoid the next shockwave attack. Bomb boulders will cause a number of exploding boulders to spawn around the platform in a specific pattern. This is very reminiscent of original Titan boulders and are handled in the same manner. Titan will tether to a boulder and cast Cobalt Bomb. This will cause the tethered boulder to grow in size and eventually deal a much larger explosion. As such, when dodging all of the bomb boulders, players should also be extra careful to dodge far away from the Cobalt Bomb boulder itself. This first bomb boulder pattern is a simple circle of boulders. An easy way to dodge this is to move to the center of the edge between two small boulder bombs. Eventually, another Geo Crush and Knockback before Titan reforms on his ATV. He will then cast Fault Zone, driving across the platform and knocking back all players a set distance. A shockwave of AoEs will also form and move across the platform from the section he drove across, and you'll need to dodge these appropriately. To avoid getting knocked off the platform during this time, always remember the saying, Fix sides, save lives. Anytime you see Titan on his ATV, move to the side of him with two rows of platform available or you will die. As the encounter progresses, Titan will drive around the platform multiple times and each time you want to reposition onto the thick side. Eventually, Titan will cast Earth and Fury, dealing high raid wide damage and debuffing players for 15 seconds. Healers be ready with those shields and heals. The next bomb boulder pattern is three rows that spawn in a sequence. Players will move to the last row to spawn, far away from the big cobalt bomb boulder, and then move into the center once it explodes. Make sure you also move out of the segments affected by weight of the land as necessary. You'll notice here the mechanics begin to overlap from this point on. This fight is all about using each segment of the platform to dodge AoEs as quickly and efficiently as possible. When Titan casts Landslide, a majority of the platform will be targeted for the attack. You'll need to move into a safe segment before moving out of the resultant shockwave AoEs. Periodically, Titan will cast either rightward or leftward Landslide, targeting half of the platform for attack. Players will need to move to the unaffected side to survive and then move out of the next shockwave AoE. The next bomb boulder pattern is a flower or star pattern. Two sets of bombs will spawn in a circle, with the second set spawning in between the first. Players will move to the second set to spawn, wait for the first set to go off before repositioning into the safe zones. During the next ATV mini phase, Titan will drive across the platform a number of times in a row. Each time, players will need to ensure they're not standing in his path and position themselves on the wider side. Watch out for each shockwave as you move back into position for the next drive-by. Eventually, Titan will stop 
Stop and cast Magnitude 5.0. This is a massive donut AoE and all players will need to quickly run into his hitbox to avoid damage. At this point, you've seen every mechanic he'll throw at you. If you're lucky enough, you'll find that the fight does not seem to have an enrage, and as long as you can stay somewhat alive, you can probably limp your way to a win. This fight is all about dodging each attack and their shockwaves to minimize damage. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. Soon, we'll tackle Savage together. As always, thanks for watching. Till next time.